Hi everyone. So today we are going to visualize a protein structure and we are going to find the active site amino acids around a particular ligand. Okay, let's go to the video. Let's download the structure from PDB. So we can type here COX2 human. So we will get different protein structures. Out of that, we can choose, yeah, we can choose this one, 3LN1. This is the structure of COX2 where a particular ligand that is silicoxid is bound with that so we can download the structure uh, so we can download from this option the download file section and we can go for this legacy pdb format okay while clicking that it will automatically download your structure so you can see that i already downloaded which is there in the uh, new folder so let's see how the structure is so we can open by using the PyMol visualizer. So you can see that there is our structure. Then while uh, like when you click this seek option, so it will show all the sequence of this particular protein. Now you can see that there are many chains correspond to this particular protein, B chain, A chain, C chain, D chains, other. So we are going to take only one chain. So what we can do, we can delete the chains by two ways. So, for, uh, consider we are taking the A chain, so we can select all these uh, amino acid residues correspond to this chain by selecting like this, okay, and yeah, we will select the whole amino acid correspond to B chain, okay, don't miss anything, okay, this is a large long structure actually yeah up to here we can select so i selected all the amino acid residues in the b chain and then you can directly delete by removing this option or there is a simple method so you can type in the command as remove chain c so c should be capital letter so it will delete all the amino acid residues in the c chain so you can copy this command see you can see that it's already deleted now i paste the command again and we can type d it will delete all the amino acid residues in the d chain now we have some uh, ligands or some molecules associated with the protein so we can delete that so we can delete all these uh, chemical molecules we can remove like this and some water molecules are there we can delete that okay i am now deleting th this this one silicoxib which is a ligand bound we can delete some of the other molecules as well as so now we have okay in n terminal also we have some water molecules we are going to delete that one now we have the a chain only along with our silicoxib so i selected that uh, ligand as you can see that it is selected and in this selection option we can change that action option we can change the name so I am going to change the name to ligand okay so I am uh, I selected the uh, ligand option here now what we have to do is we are going to find the active sites around this particular ligand or maybe we can say that the amino acids around 5 Armstrong from this or of the particular ligand so what we have to do for that so we can do one thing we can duplicate this uh, tab here you can see the option so again I am going to change the name so which we can put active sites okay active sites now what I am going to do is here in the show option you can go for not show option sorry action option you can go for the modify option and around option and from that you can select this one atoms within five Armstrong. see it's already selected the uh, atoms or amino acid residues around the uh, ligand five Armstrong. okay now we can again rename this okay it's already renamed okay there is no need to change that we can show as a stick format so as you can see it is already uh, shown in the stick format now what we have to do we have to only visualize this particular active site residues for that i'm clicking here 
and maybe we can change the color in later or before that we can click the entire structure of this particular protein and we can hide the cartoon structure yeah now it is hided now you can see we have only active side residues for to identify what are the active side residues we can go with this label option and we can select this residue option as you can see we already identified active side residues so this is one of the methods that we are going to adopt now the second option to identify the amino acid active side amino acids around our ligand is in the uh, command line you can type show sticks this is going to show a sticks format comma by res okay showing by residues all with in phi of the name of the ligand that is ligand by enter it will showing it will be showing all the amino acid residues in the stick format as you can see this one now what we have to do now we can again uh, do the same method so we can hide the cartoon structure here and it will show all the amino acid residues here now if you want to identify what are the amino acid residues we have to do some extra effort so first we can uh, select our ligand and choose a different color so i'm selecting the magenta color here then we have to manually select our residues as amino acid residues here so i'm selecting some of the residues here by simply clicking okay Oh, mistakenly if you touch outside it will go every amino acid selection so again carefully we have to do that okay, just as an example I'm going to select some of the amino acids I'm not going to take everything okay so I already selected again we can change the name so we can change as active sites again active sites okay now we can go for this L option label, we can label with residues. Now you can see all the active side amino acids are labeled. Okay, so this is a method, two methods we are using. So I hope all of you understand how to identify or predict the amino acid residues around a particular ligand. So you can use either of these methods. So if you want to identify or predict amino acid residues, if it is not available in your studies, you can adopt this method based on the inbuilt ligand of interest. Okay, so we shall meet in another video with another new techniques or methods. Thank you.